Hello and welcome. In this video, we will introduce you to the coordinate axis. Two perpendicular lines divide plane into four parts. Let these be two perpendicular lines. These two lines divide the plane into four parts called quadrants. The horizontal line is called the x-axis and the vertical line is called the y-axis. Now each one of the parts is called the quadrant. is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. Each point P in a plane is represented by a pair of ordered elements. A pair of elements enclosed in parentheses called ordered pairs. For example, x, comma, y. The first element of the ordered pair is called the x coordinate. Or called abscissa. The second element is called the y coordinate. also known as ordinate. The first element, the x-coordinate, represents the perpendicular distance of the point P from the y-axis. The second element, the y-coordinate, represents the perpendicular distance of the point P from the x-axis. The point of intersection of these two perpendicular lines is called the origin O. Now the coordinates of the origin are 0 and 0. points to the right of the zero are positive and the points to the left of zero are negative. Similarly the points below zero are negative and the ones that are the above are positive. So if we have a point P in the first quadrant 
the x and y coordinates are both positive. The first quadrant, a point P, has both x and y coordinates positive. In the second quadrant, point P has the x coordinate negative and the y coordinate positive. In the third quadrant, point P has the x coordinate negative and the y coordinate also negative. And in the fourth quadrant, has positive x coordinate and negative y coordinate. any point on x-axis, say for example here, if the point lies on the x-axis, its y-coordinate is 0. So if we take a point here, one, two, three, four, point P on x-axis, the y-coordinate is zero. The y-coordinate is this point, and the x-coordinate is this. So you would have five, comma zero. Similarly, any point on the y-axis has the x coordinates 0. The point O, the origin, has both x and y coordinate zero. Because it belongs to both the y and x axis. So the origin O has the coordinates zero and zero. Thanks for watching.